Hi, I am Dr. Lee Vickers, author of Bodies of Light and founder of Lightworkers International. And you have arrived here at a very important time along your path into the light. You are a limitless being of light. Now, I'm sure you feel this way, but some people actually think that they're human. And they think that because their energy devolved from this limitless existence, this, this amazing uh, angelic experience that you are. And things devolved to the point where people's energy became so low that they felt that they were human. They didn't know that they had this inherent birthright as a limitless being of light. You came from the stars. You haven't just been around the last few thousand years. To say that you are a fallen angel in real physical form would not be an incorrect estimation of the magnificence of what you are. So I said a few things that may have gotten you a little excited or may have made you a little quizzical. But what I want to let you know is this, is that you're much grander, you're much more powerful, and you have much more potential than you ever imagined possible. And this is good because some people are suffering. And I really want to unlock some of the biggest spiritual lies on the planet. One of those lies is that the path into enlightenment has any type of suffering in it. So you say, what, what do you mean? Like, I thought that suffering was just part of life. Well, what you're going to learn in all this is that the path into the light, the path into higher consciousness, the path into higher awareness is a path into pleasure. So some of you are like, pleasure, you know, but because of course, you know, some of the original sin and the knowledge and everything and, and the tree of life and the apple, you know, of, of ultimate knowledge, ultimate pleasure, ultimate knowingness of who you are was thought of as a sin. And you could say that that was one of the first lies. See, you have been around much more than two, three, five, or even 10,000 years. You have been around for millions of years. And you, right there on your little screen or at home, have lived thousands upon thousands of lifetimes. Now, they've talked about this historically, even on earth, in different religions. You have Buddhism and Hinduism. And actually, if you went to India today, and spoke to an average person on the street and, and said, you know, that you're a, a limitless being of light and you've lived many lifetimes, they'd be like, yeah, your point is? See, we here in the West have really become unconscious. And conscious means to know, to, to realize. And in the West, people have become unconscious of who they truly are. Who you are is a limitless being of light. Now, I may sound like I'm harping on this, and I am. But what you have to understand in all this is that this path into light is a path into self-awareness 
It's a path into regaining your inherent abilities and capabilities as a light being. Am I right? Yes. So we here with the League of Lightworkers International want to create a support structure and want to step by step make it easy to walk your divine path into the light. And what you're going to find is that your path into the light has nothing to do with belief in anything but your higher power. But, of course, in the editions of Bodies of Light, when you click below, you're going to get the Universal Edition for free. And we are going to challenge you to do the Bodies of Light technique for 30 days, at least a few times a day. You're going to get an email to you for free when you sign up below. And we challenge you to walk the path into the light for 30 days. For you to regain your inherent abilities and capabilities as a limitless being of light for 30 days. For you to do bodies of light three times a day, and it takes less than 13 minutes on the audio. And when you read it, it takes four or five minutes. This is like exercise for your light body. See, before people exercised their physical bodies, they were weak and they were flabby and they had issues. Now you had people started exercising and doing machines and did amazing things with the physical body. It's the same with you as a limitless being of light. We have a lot of people with really flabby light bodies, with really weak charge. And this charge that I'm talking about is the electrical charge within your blood. And that's another big secret. And that's the secret of the Holy Grail, the cup of Christ. And that cup of Christ, where you have a lot of people who are drinking the blood every Sunday, and they don't know that that actually was a signifier for the electrical charge in your blood that you get as a limitless being of light. Now, your blood is a physical, like a physical cup. And your body holding on to that electrical charge happens when you allow the energy to come in. And you might ask, well, why isn't everyone already plugging in to their limitless light capabilities and abilities? And I'm going to tell you why. Because what happens in life, not just this lifetime, but for thousands of lifetimes, is that you, you right there looking at this right this second, got stressed out. You had something happen that you really didn't like, you were uncomfortable with, and you got really stressed. And you know what you did? You did this. You were doing what? You got stressed out. You started pushing things that were stressing you out. You thought that you were holding back the world. The weight of the world was on your shoulders and you were holding it back. But what you were really doing was this. What you were doing is you were holding out the light. You were holding out this inherent energy that's all around us, that can heal us and plug us into infinite potential, infinite consciousness, infinite ideas, infinite health, infinite wealth, infinite knowingness, infinite happiness, infinite bliss. And if that sounds like a big order, it may be, but actually it's a big understatement. And everyone here would tell you that when you do Bodies of Light, that this path is gonna give you more pleasure than you ever imagined possible, ever. Right? Yes. This path is a path that we're trying to cheer you on to take because this is not a path into my life or someone else's life or some guru. I mean, we're talking about the guru. 
We're talking about you plugging into more of you. See, because you're just that amazing, when you open up those stuck flows within you, it flows out from you, it heals you, and it plugs you into the universe. The light makes us feel at one with everything. The light connects us. And we're gonna get into the basic of light and dark energy right now. You have a sun and a black hole. It's light and dark. Creation and destruction. Within the light is creative energy. Within the light is all that you hold dear. Within the light is your health. Within the light is your wealth. Within the light is your consciousness, your bliss, your peace, your compassion, your love. Within the light is everything, is the matrix of interconnected possibility that you can plug into. Now, this other energy is, is its opposite. If light is creation, darkness is what? Destruction. Destruction. So we have a sun that emits light. And then you have a black hole that sucks it in. Now that is the energy of destruction. That is the energy of hate, fear, suffering, grief, regret. What are they the path into? Darkness. They're the path into the darkness. They're the path into unconsciousness. They're the path into devolution of your DNA, devolution of society, devolution of everything that you hold dear. When you're going on that path into the darkness, you feel sad. You don't feel good. You feel less energy. You can't get out of bed. You don't feel great. See, or when you're around someone that has a lot of dark energy, you feel drained. It's like, oh, every time around this person, you just feel the life force being drained out of you. Now, luckily for you, and luckily for our civilization, light and dark energy cannot occupy the same space. Yeah. <laughs> right? If you have a dark room and you light up a candle, darkness cannot exist within the light. You see? Darkness cannot exist within the light. What is darkness but a lack of light? So you see that these are basic elements of the universe and you may wonder, well, you know, this, this makes sense, you know, I mean, some of this is pretty cool, but how does this do anything in my life? And I'm gonna tell you what it does. That you, you sitting right there, right now are gonna plug into your light. You're gonna open up over 44,000 doors of energy doing bodies of light. You're gonna feel tingly. You're gonna start attracting your best life, health, wealth, happiness, joy, bliss, and peace. If you just follow us right now. And we're gonna challenge you to do the 30 day challenge to do bodies of light for 30 days and not see that your life is m healthier, wealthier, happier, better than you ever imagined possible. We're challenging you. We're challenging you. you that mother at work, we're that jock that needs more energy on the ball field, the computer programmer, the student, the, um, the uh, uh, teacher. We're challenging you, the doctor, the Reiki healer, pranic healer, all the light workers. And we're, we're, when we come to you, you know, the light workers, being the League of Light Workers International and Light Workers International, we challenge you to raise your vibration and, ch and also challenge you to know that as a light worker, it means to work with the light. It isn't to think about the light once a year, to ho hum and wish some light showed up somewhere, but it's actually working with the light. And you'll find with bodies of light that it brings in more light millions and billions of times more light that you ever did before in under 13 minutes. It's like speed enlightenment. It's like in super enlightenment, enlightenment on crack. Yeah. You know, this stuff is going to change your life. And the way that you plug into it is very simple. And you're going to do it with this, within this video. And we're excited to have you become part of the League of Lightworkers International and to do bodies of light and take the 30 day challenge and to walk your path into the light starting now, starting this very moment. Because you know why? Because you're worth it. Because we know 
that having a ho-hum existence that your higher self brought you here because you're ready. You're ready to ignite your light. You're ready to attract amazing things into your life. And we're here to help you. And we're here to, to, we're not here to just teaser you. We're here to give it to you now on this video, right with us to feel it, feel your body changing, feel everything changing with us today, right now, right in just a moment. Now there's different editions of eyes of light. There's universe, which you're going to get for free. God, Buddha, Jesus, Allah, Yahweh, goddess, Krishna. Now you can actually make your own on whatever you feel comfortable with plugging into. But ultimately, we have these here for you. It's been translated, Bodies of Light has been translated into Spanish, Russian, Ukrainian, Hebrew. We have some people trying to do it into uh, Arabic and Portuguese, and we already have some French that we've done, Czechoslovakian. The thing is that this is so easy, and it's so simple that you'll be like, why, why isn't, this, why hasn't this always been here? And the reason it hasn't been here is because there was really no, no reason to empower you to plug into you. Um, a lot of things were control mechanisms. A lot of spiritual traditions were there to get you to follow a line of thinking that wasn't you, but was something else. We're here to get you to plug into you, to plug into more of you flowing through you and everything you be doing have. Now, we're gonna start right now, put your hands out, and I want you to feel energy. I want you to see if you can feel something happening, okay? And we're gonna do universe. So hold your hands like this and see if you can come in so they can see it. And I'm gonna have you repeat after me and everyone repeat after me. I direct the light of the universe into my hands. And say it at home, I direct the light of the universe into my hands. I direct the light of the universe into my hands. I direct the light of the universe into my hands. I direct the light of the universe into my hands. Now notice, look how red these are getting. You see, I do a lot of energy work and my hands are on fire, quick. See, this is a, an enlightened ability for you as a limitless being of light. You should be able to move energy quickly, but we're gonna do a little more because see if you can feel it. I direct the light of the universe into my hands. I direct the light of the universe into my hands. I direct the light of the universe into my hands. I direct the light of the universe into my hands. Now, see that tingly energy that you may be feeling in your hands, what is it? What is it? That tingly energy is you. That tingly energy is you. You're a limitless being of light. You directed that energy in your hands. Now, would you have had increased energy in your hands if you had not directed it? No. no. So that's opening up two doorways of energy, one in each hand. Now, when you do buys of light, you're opening up over 44,000 doors of energy to heal you and attract your very best life. And you're going to do it with us in just a moment. And this is going to change everything. If you do this every day, if you take the challenge, your life will never be the same again. This is a rocket ride into the light. This is a rocket ride into your higher consciousness. This is a rocket ride into your wealth, your health, your happiness, your bliss, your peace, your best life, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This goes into another lie. Some people go, you know, you can't feel good all the time. You have to have the bad with the good. You have to feel horrible. And that's a lie. The path into the light is full of pleasure. The path into higher consciousness is full of bliss and peace and oneness with the universe. The path into the darkness is full of pain and suffering. The path into the darkness is full of loneliness. The path into the darkness is full of separation and anxiety. See, people tried to trick you to say that you had to have this suffering to go into, the, into higher consciousness, and that's a lie. And they use that to trick you into being, un being unconscious of who you really are and who you really are is a limitless being of light that can channel energy through you into everything you be, do, and have. You literally become a fountain of potential energy and vibration. And as you shine brighter, you make 
your world a better place, your health better, you make everything better. I'm gonna go into more, we're in the hands here. So we're gonna go into basic reflex points that you learn in bodies of light. Now, your physical body has flows of energy that go to different parts of your body. And we're gonna start with heart. So your heart is right here, your heart energy. And when you go further along into our practice, you'll be able to test the percentage that your heart's at. You're gonna be able to learn heart, stomach, liver, pancreas. You know, After you start doing bodies of light, you're gonna be able to feel the healing. There's a lot of stuff you're gonna learn as you continue this practice, as you continue to learn further and further into the system. But first we're gonna look at heart. If you thought of heart, we have our left shoulder, heart, chi, let goes heart, left shoulder, left thumb. Now, if you look here and you're squeezing into this left thumb, if it's painful, if you squeeze into that left thumb, see, if that is painful, when you squeeze that left thumb, what does that mean, folks? Low heart chi. Low heart chi. It means that the energy in your heart is, is, is not flowing correctly. And later on, you'll actually learn percentages of your heart. In future videos, and future books, and future techniques, you're gonna be able to energetically test what percentage, but right now, if it's tender on that left thumb, it means your, your heart energy is low. Your heart's not doing so good, okay? Now, the next part is the web of the left hand, and if you squeeze like this here on the left hand, okay, like this, if that hurts, that indicates that your stomach chi, your stomach energy is low. It means that you as a light being are having a problem putting enough energy to the stomach. And so when you do bodies of light, it's gonna supercharge this, your stomach energy. It's gonna start healing it in real time. That chi is gonna heal it in real time and that pain is gonna go away if, so if that hurts, we're gonna see if after you do it that you don't feel a lot better. Okay, so keep following us. Now, right hand. You know, it's the opposite of you. So you're going to know this is right. You got to look at me opposite of where you are. The right hand, you have the liver. So if you squeeze the web of the right hand, see that? That's your liver gallbladder energy, but it's your liver chi. So if it's painful in there, the liver is what cleanses you. The liver is what cleanses the blood of impurities and toxins. And if it's all clogged up, then that'll be painful and it's not working that great. And so we wanna see if your liver starts doing better after you do bodies of light with us in just a few minutes. Now, we have the right thumb, that's pancreas. Now, pancreas deals with sugar metabolism. So if your pancreas isn't working right, you get fat, you put on weight, you can't metabolize your sugars properly. So having that area having you as a light being supercharge your pancreas chi in this hurting less. See, so you just squeeze in there. If you squeeze that right thumb right at the base here in the palm and it's painful, that indicates low pancreas chi. Okay, so now keep an eye on this. Now, you as a limitless being of light can move energy around you. Okay, and it works on the basis of, and everyone repeat after me, where attention goes, where attention goes. Energy, flows. energy flows. See, the energy flows like a river, and parts of your energy within you got stuck. So when you open up these flows of energy, you feel better. Now, what does this start looking like? This starts looking like katas, qigong, tai chi, right? So what were they doing? They were opening up what? Energy. Energy. Okay? Bodies of light is very much the same, but it's opening up the energy by what you say. Just like you said the energy into your hands and it moved. Where, when you said it, it moved into your hands. But when you say this, it's like speed enlightenment. Rather than having to spend hours and hours doing Tai Chi or, or oming. Um, I want you to know that the way people raise their vibration in the past, one of the greatest and most popular ways it was done for thousands of years was ohm. So at home, do it 
we're going to do it, feel it. Um. Do it at home. Um. You feel that buzz? You feel that tingly energy? See, what they used to do is they would meditate and they would make the ohm sound for six or eight hours a day for decades. Now, what we found with Bodies of Light is that you can raise your energy with ohm. And if you did ohm for six or eight hours a day for about six weeks, it would be equivalent to doing Bodies of Light once in 13 minutes. So how many of us would like to do something in 13 minutes that would maybe take six weeks? Raise your hand, right? So bodies of light is like speed enlightenment, but you have to say it because it's the vibration of the words that makes the technique work. So your mouth literally has to move and at least whisper the technique that we're gonna do in just a moment. Now, what you have to understand is that you as a light being are not just this physical body. You're more like a layer cake and you have layers. Okay, I'm gonna quickly describe the layers, but of course you're gonna to want to get the Bodies of Light audio and the Bodies of Light book so you can go more in depth into the layers and understand your layers as a being of light. Okay, but I'm gonna give you a quick like Cliff Notes edition of them really fast, okay? Your furthest out layer, it's called your etheric body. In Eastern thought, they call it the prana maya kosha, which is sheath made of life force. In English, it's just this cloud of energy that's around you. Now, if you felt someone looking at you from behind and you turned around and they were looking at you, have you ever experienced that? Yes. yes. Right? So what was it that felt it? The thing that felt it was you. You are a limitless being of light and your cloud, which was a piece of you, felt them looking at you and then you turned around and they were looking at you. That's called your etheric body. So everyone say etheric body. Etheric body. Now, your next body in from that is called your astral body. Now, in Eastern thought, the astral body is like a balloon with a light string to the back of the head, okay? That little curly cue thing, the place where, you know, um, the hair grows that way is exactly where that balloon or that string of light leaves your body. Now, <clears throat> when your energy is really low and you think you're a human, you actually don't know that you can fly. That within your inherent native ability as a being of light, that you can pop out of this physical body because you're not this physical body. You are a light being. You have capabilities and abilities that are gonna really make you happy and really make your life better. So the astral body is your ability to fly, your ability to go out of body, your ability to leave the physical body. So everyone say astral body. Astral. Now, the next body in from that is called your mental body. Your mental body is like all the Tweety Birds around your head, all your thoughts. Now, light and dark energy cannot occupy the same space. So, if you have a negative thought, I can't do it, what should she do to me, why did he do that, who is that, all that monkey mind stuff, all that dark stuff, all those dark negative thoughts, here's some good news. When you do Bodies of Light, they literally eject out of your mental body. You find that you get authentic thinking, that you feel peace, that you feel bliss, that the monkey mind and, and the, 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 the negative thoughts cannot exist in the light. So how cool is that? Right? And so that's what you're about to experience with bodies of light. So just keep hanging on. We want you to do this 30 day challenge. Now, <clears throat> the mental body, is the Tweety Birds around your head. So as you bring the light through, it really is gonna change the way you think. And it's also gonna plug you into 
higher consciousness into information. And I'm going to give you a secret right now with the mental body. That if it repeats, like, got to work, 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 got to work. It's always a lie. If it's repeating in your head, it's powered by the dark core. And it's kind of like a, a, a little a gerbil on a rabbit wheel, on a wheel. Da, 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 and it's a lie. Those thoughts are only there to take you into a dwindling spiral of suffering, a dwindling spiral of unconsciousness, a dwindling spiral of hate, grief, fear. You gotta let that go. So everyone say, you just gotta let that go. You just gotta let that go. You know, that's not you. That's not you. So as you bring in your inherent light, you're gonna plug into divine thought. And the divine thought works like this. Let's say you have looking for a job. You start doing bodies of light. <clears throat> you do bodies of light, you sit there, and you send it up. What do I need for my divine job? So later on, you're gonna learn how to send things, questions up into higher consciousness. Everyone go, what do I need for my divine job? What do I need for my divine job? And you wait. Of course, you gotta be doing bodies of light because you have to have enough light to plug into this. And then higher consciousness, the truth comes like this. Shoo, go check this place. And it does not repeat. So the way that you know you're getting authentic thinking is that it's a swoosh, it's like an epiphany, a aha moment. And these are authentic, okay? Now, we're going further. Mental body, now we're physical body. Within the physical body is this thing. Now, also are chakras. A lot of people, Think of a seven chakra system, but we're, this is a, just an eight chakra system in that you have chakra, 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 chakra. So you have your eight chakras, but your eighth one is like your direct connect to your higher consciousness. So we're considering your connection to higher consciousness as above the crown chakra. So when you say your physical body, you're within that, you're saying my physical body with the eight chakras. So say physical body, physical body. with eight chakras which are just balls of energy down the middle. And to learn more of that, I'd like you to go get the Bodies of Light book, get the Bodies of Light audios, because you really want to delve into the chakra system of what you're going to be learning with Bodies of Light, but you really need to get the book. So now, the next part we need to go into is the, every atom within you, which is your four lower bodies. So if you think of the atom like a CD or a record, you have the outermost band, so say outermost band. Okay, so this is like, think of the atom, the outermost part. Then you have these middle rings, so say middle rings. Middle rings. Then you have an inner band, inner band. and a core. core. Now if you look at a record or a CD, what's at the core? Nothing. Nothing. And it's the same as what's within you. Spiritually, historically, in, in the uh, ancient texts, there's really nothing there creating everything, but it's all potential energy. And it's the potential to plug into a sun or a black hole. Now, when people are in a black hole at the core of every atom, at the core of their own being, you can't fill it. You can't eat enough food, buy enough clothes, take enough drugs. It's an unfillable, dark, black hole of unconsciousness and suffering. Now, the good news when you do bodies of light, that, that black hole gets replaced with what? A sun. A limitless flowing sun, limitless consciousness, limitless wealth, limitless health, limitless peace, limitless bliss, limitless amazingness. Everything that you hold dear is within the light. And I know it sounds too good to be true, but it's even bigger than what I'm saying. Am I right? Yes. It's wild because people that do this for a while, a year or so, would not trade a billion dollars. Like, would, would you guys trade a billion dollars? No. For what's going to happen to you on this path into the light. This is more valuable than you can ever imagine. You've been looking for this for thousands of years and even way before that. I say thousands of years so it doesn't scare you. It's like millions of years. 
You have been looking for this. You've been looking for a way to pull in more of you, to open up the energy, to wash away karma, to wash away these blockages, not from just this life, but from past lives, to regain your inherent abilities as a light being. Not only to just heal your body, but to heal your family and your community and the world at large, because the light evolves all things to higher and better form. It's a big statement. Within the light is the matrix of intelligence, the matrix, the framework of intelligent energy that is gonna evolve your life and evolve all of mankind if we can open up to it. And I hope we do. Now, the next thing I want you to understand is the breath. The breath works like this. Tongue through your mouth, breathe in, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, in through your nose, out through your mouth, in through your nose, out through your mouth. So that's the three breaths after each part of the cue that you're gonna learn later. Now you also need to know some numbers. A zillion is a limitless number. Everyone say zillion. zillion. <coughs> limitless number, it's a limitless number. Now, let's, uh, septillion is the next number you need to know, which is the one with 24 zeros. Everyone say septillion. 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 Now, the next number you need to know is a Google. Anyone heard of Google? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, that Google, that search engine, actually got it from the word Google, which means a one with 100 zeros. It's a very big number. Huh? Yeah. Everyone say Google. Google. Now, they created another number that we're using in Bodies of Light, and it's called a Google Plex, P-L-E-X. And they created this number because the universe is just that big. They needed a new number. This number is a one with a Google number of zeros. That's numbers of zeros as grains of sand on Earth. So that's a pretty big number. And I think I'm just gonna say it. That's how big you are. You are grander. You are more powerful. You are brighter and more brilliant than you ever thought possible. And your path into the light is gonna change the world. Your path into light is gonna make it a better place. Your path into light is gonna make our music better, our movies better, our food better, our sports better, our TV better. Our everything better. Love Our love better. It all gets better in the light. And I want to encourage you to, to do the 30 day challenge, to do bodies of light with us just now in a second, to see what happens to you, and to be a part of not only just healing yourself, not only just learning how to test your organs, not only later you're going to start learning, we're going to go into learning to test your foods, to have high vibrational living and all that entails. But to be a part of your rehabilitation as a being of light, to enjoy every moment of your existence on this path into the light. So right now, let's get, get ready at home, all of us here. <clears throat> We're gonna do it. Everything we've been saying about buys light, buys light, buys light, you're about to do it, okay? So now, you gotta say it, okay? Repeat after me, it's gotta come out of your mouth. And then you got to say it so that it opens up the doors. So we're going to do the universe edition, say it with us and at home, and we're all going to say it with you too. And I'm starting right now and just say it with us. I am the temple of the universe. I am the temple of the universe. The light of the universe. The light of the universe. Dwells within me. Dwells within me. Each of my eight bodies. Each of my eight bodies. Contain zillions of intelligences. Here and now, Here and now. Directly, connected directly connected to the light of the universe. The light of the universe. I, direct every aspect I direct every aspect of my eight bodies, of my eight bodies to turn upwards to, turn upwards to the eternal light of the universe. All of my eight chakras and bodies of being are now fully open to the light of the universe. I am at one with the universe. I am at one with the universe. My spirit is awake. My spirit is awake. And fully open to the universe. And fully open to the universe. 
My spirit receives. My spirit receives. All divine communication. All divine communication. From the universe. From the universe. Universal pure light. Shines upon every aspect. Of my etheric body. I thank my universe. For your bells. Of levitating power. Raising me upwards toward the heavens. And the infinitely powerful. Blue shield. Of electromagnetic insulation. Which allows only the universal light within. My etheric body expresses perfect and appropriate feelings and emotions. Universal pure light shines upon every aspect of my astral body. Be awake and alert. My astral body. I thank my universe for easy and relaxed Astral travel, Astral travel. Perfect, control. perfect control, and spiritual peace, and spiritual peace. Universal, pure Universal pure light, shines upon every aspect, upon every aspect. of my mental body. I thank my universe for accurate memory, appropriate intelligence, proper revelation, and divine timing of righteous decisions. Universal pure light shines upon every aspect of my physical body. This light shines from above down and inside out through every cell traveling from my brain through my forehead and throat, permeating all cells of my heart, following every part of my digestive system, including my stomach, liver, and intestines, flowing from my cranium through my spine to the sacral base Creating divine, stability. creating divine stability through my arms and hands, arms and hands. Legs, and feet. legs and feet I direct the light, I direct the light. to charge, to charge. My, entire my entire nervous system and shine, and shine. through every blood cell, every blood cell. creating perfect, creating perfect. homeostasis all cells, all cells composing my physical body, composing my physical body through, the universe inside, through the universe inside are in a perfect, are in a perfect and, divine balance. and divine balance. I thank my universe, thank my universe for, keeping me at all times for keeping me at all times in perfect health. In perfect health. Universal pure light Shines upon, every part shines upon every part of every atom, of every atom within, me. within me. Universal pure light, Universal pure light shines, upon the band shines upon the outermost band of all atoms within me, all atoms within me. Vitalizing, and energizing the band vitalizing and energizing the band to perfect spin and balance. I thank my universe, thank my universe for, divine for divine energy. Universal pure light, Universal pure light shines, upon shines upon the middle rings of all atoms within me, all atoms within me. vitalizing and energizing the rings to perfect spin and balance. Thank you for healing. All inherited, factors. all inherited factors, and also for the many, for the many. Genetic, blessings genetic blessings of my ancestors.
Thank you for healing. Thank you for healing. All past and balanced life patterns. All past and balanced life patterns. Universal pure light. Universal pure light. Shines upon the innermost band. Shines upon the innermost bands. Of all atoms within me. Of all atoms within me. Vitalizing and energizing the band. Vitalizing and energizing the band. To perfect spin and balance. To perfect spin and balance. Thank you for healing. Thank you for healing. All traumatic, all traumatic occlusions, occlusions over my entire existence. Over my entire existence. Universal, pure intelligence Universal pure intelligence exists, exists within, every core within every core of every atom, of every atom within, me. within me. It is that intelligence, is that intelligence which, is the nothingness which is the nothingness that creates the somethingness. That creates the somethingness of my existence. Of my existence. Thank, you Thank you. For creating the somethingness. For creating the somethingness from the nothingness. From the nothingness. May, the light of the universe May the light of the universe. Enter and stimulate. Enter and stimulate. Every outer band. Every outer band. Middle rings. Middle rings. Inner band. Inner band. And core within me. May the light of the universe, the of the universe enter, every core enter every core of every atom within, every atom within igniting them in succession, igniting them in succession transforming, each atom transforming each atom into an atomic sun, into an atomic sun together forming, together forming the universal light of the universe. The universe Within me. Within me. Thank you for shining. Thank you for shining. Universal pure light. Universal pure light. Into all eight of my bodies. Into all eight of my bodies. Igniting them in succession. Igniting them in succession. And connecting me fully and wholly. And connecting me fully and wholly. To the divine light of creation. To the divine light of creation. Of this. Of this. And every other universe. Every other universe. Wow. <laughs> you opened up over 44,000 doors. Now you need to do the breath. <clears throat> the breath is like this. Tongue in through your mouth. Hey. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Can you get hung on a roof? Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, so that's the breath, it's the pump. Now we're going into the cue, which is interdimensional energy, quantum energy, that we're flowing through the doors that are opened within you. And you want to repeat after me and do it with intention. Okay, I direct the light of the universe. I one zillion times one zillion, one zillion, times one zillion. into every core, into every core. Of, every of every atom within me. Within me. Breathe. Breathe. Tongue in the roof. Now keep, stay with me, this is going to get great. I direct the light of the universe. I direct the light of the universe. One septillion. One septillion. Times one septillion. Times one septillion. Into every core. Into every core. Of every atom. Of every atom. Within me. Within me. Breathe. Tongue the roof. The breath is the pump. Keep breathing. I direct the light of the universe. I direct the light of the universe. One Google. One Google. Times one Google. Times one Google. Into every core. Into every core. Of every atom. Of every atom. Within me. Within me. Breathe. Keep that tongue on the roof.
I direct the light of the universe. I direct the light of the universe. When Google Plex, when Google Plex times one Google Plex, times one Google Plex into, every core into every core of every atom, of every atom within, me. within me. Breathe. And if you cough or whatever, just let it out. Don't swallow. Just cough it out, spit it out. This is like a cleanse. It's a light cleanse. Keep breathing. Many times doing this, you're going to cough. Stuff's going to come out of you. So you spit it out. You don't, it, you don't swallow phlegm because that's like, that's against Chinese medicine. It's against the natural healing. It'd be like swallowing pus on your arm. Okay? You don't swallow. You spit when things come out. That's a natural cleansing part of you. Okay? So just so you know. <coughs> now, <coughs> repeat after me. Igniting each atom in succession. Igniting each atom in succession. Transforming each atom. Transforming each atom. Into an atomic sun. Into an atomic sun. Together forming. Together forming. The universal light of the universe. The universal light of the universe. Within me. Breathe. Breathe. You have that tongue through your mouth, the breath is the pump. Now, we're going to start flowing energy into your organs. A basic ability as you is a limitless being of light. Now that you open stuff up, we're going to start healing your body. Okay? <clears throat> and pushing it into the areas just like the hands. We're going to move it into the organs. We're going to go to the heart. I direct the light of the universe. I direct the light of the universe. When Google Plex, when Google Plex times one Google Plex, times Google Plex into my heart. Into my heart. heart. Breathe. I direct the light of the universe. I direct the light of the universe. When Google Plex, when Google Plex times one Google Plex, times on Google Plex into my stomach. Into my stomach. Breathe. Now we're gonna do liver. I direct the light of the universe. I when Google Plex, when Google Plex times one Google Plex, times Google Plex into, my liver. into my liver. Breathe. Now we're going to do pancreas. I direct the light of the universe. I direct the light of the universe. When Google Plex, when Google Plex Times one Google Plex, times one Google Plex into, my into my pancreas. Breathe. Now, you're going to learn the My Best Life, which is how you attract your best life, which means every time you do buys a light, you always do my best life. Everyone say, whenever you do buys a light, you always do my best life. Very important. You're going to learn this in the My Best Life chapter, a buys of light. Make sure you buy it on Amazon and get the audios and everything. But now do this with us right now. I direct the light of the universe. I direct the light of the universe. One Google Plex. One Google Plex. Times one Google Plex, times one Google Plex. Into, my into my best, best life. life. Breathe. We're going to do nine breaths. Keep going. Five, keep going. Keep going. Now, how are you feeling? <clears throat> so come on down with me. Keep an eye on me down here. 
I'm going to talk and we're going to get really real now, okay? We're going to get really real. So, how do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? Hi. Hi. Expanded. Expanded. I want to give you... I'm going to give you a secret, you know? You want to hear a secret? Here's a secret. You have never taken a drug that will get you as high as you're going to get on light. Am I right? Yeah. See, drugs work. <coughs> they work because they get rid of the resistance of you as a light being. They work because a lot of these drugs, these party drugs, kill the body. And the way you know that is because if you have a little high, you take a drug, you have a little high, you feel good. Did, did that come from the drug? You understand that that high came from you as a limitless being of light and it was you just starting to leave the body as the drug was killing the body, this temple that you're in and then you felt good for a little while and then you were sick for five days. That's a path into the light of the dark. Darkness. Anything that creates suffering is a path into the darkness and in this system of bodies of light, you'll learn how to test all your foods, how to test everything you eat and know that it's above a 10, that it's high vibrational living. More than likely, if you're a human on this planet, you don't do energy testing, you don't do bodies of light, you're probably eating less than one or 2% of high vibrational food. And this low vibrational food is lowering, stunting your abilities, making you sick, making you not feel good, making you live less well and making you suffer. Now, you don't have to suffer. A lot of people think that they have a deficiency of drugs, that they just have to cover it up. But as you walk this path into the light, you realize that all the pleasure, all the peace, all the bliss, all the good feelings come from you. They don't come from the drugs, they come from you. And so any high that you felt is a mere nothing in comparison to what you're gonna feel as a limitless being of light on this path into the light, doing bodies of light. And I can't tell you how good it's going to get, except that it's going to be better than you could have ever imagined. Woo. Right? Yes. Yes. Now, those of you who are still here, I want you to check your hands. Because what you're going to find is something magical happen. What you're going to find is that because you opened up these doorways within yourself with bodies of light, that you feel different. Like if you sit here, that tingliness you feel in your hands earlier, you may be feeling in your whole body. And if you're not feeling it, just rewind it and do the whole thing again. Do it two, three, four more times. And I guarantee you, you're gonna be high as a kite if you rewind and do this Bodies of Light together with me right now. Also make sure, do the 30 day challenge. I want you to go down get the universal edition and say it at least three times a day for 30 days and not see that bodies of light changes your life, that it ignites your light, that you attract amazing things into your life. See, you gotta understand how amazing this is. Uh, now, we're gonna go into our hands. The left thumb, remember, was your heart. So I don't know if you can, are you closing in enough so you can see the thumb here? So check it. Those that had pain in your thumb, is it there? And if it isn't, why? 
because you started healing your heart from opening up your energy and directing it into the heart. This is just the beginning. Whatever you're feeling now is this much. Right? Yes. So if you're feeling high as a kite, if you're feeling more pleasure than you have in years, if you're like blown away and like flipping out and going, oh my, oh my gosh, what, what is this? this is a holy cow, this is amazing. This, this is the tip, tip, tip of the iceberg of what you are. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. Now, the next one is stomach. Squeeze in the web. If you can see right here, see? Does you see? Do I need to come up? Do you need to walk out? You see, squeeze here. Right there. And squeeze, you see. And if it's squeeze the same way you did before. So if that hurts less, what does that mean? That means that your stomach is healing in real time. Now on the right hand, let's squeeze the web. That's your liver, liver gallbladder. If that hurts less, what does that mean? It's healing. healing. Right thumb, pancreas. That is better, and you're diabetic, and now it's a lot better, what's that mean? What? Part A means that your pancreas is working better because you did bodies of light and you channeled healing vibrational, high vibrational light into your pancreas. You understand how powerful this, how, how revolution and ev- evolutionary this is. And I want you to know that we challenge you to do the 30 day challenge. Also, we challenge you to change your life, to ignite your light and to let your friends know about this. You can do a light party, invite all your friends. Start with this video, with the basic intro video so that they start understanding bodies of light. And we have a lot more videos that people are doing light parties all around the country. And we also have a goal of getting a bodies of light TV show to where people start learning how to do a lot of the techniques that you're gonna learn later as you connect with us and work with us, come to the seminars and conferences and, and, and uh, work with us further. Um, the things that you have to look forward to are quite astounding. One of the things that happens as you do Bodies of Light is that you start attracting things that are good for you. And on the contrary, you start repelling things that are bad. And is this true? Yes. yes. See, the light, this energy, this creative vibration in your energetic field literally makes those that would hurt you uncomfortable to be around you. I mean, that's valuable. It's like having a force field. It's like being a Jedi, you know. It's, it's a, a Jedi of light. The, <coughs> the energy, the tingly energy that you have in your energetic field protects you. It repels things that would hurt you. For instance, you could be driving down the road and a cop is working on getting his quota and not even speeding, but he's just giving, pulling people over, wanting to catch his quota up over a hill or something. And you're doing a lot of bodies of light. He doesn't even see you. Why? Because he's at a different vibration than you are. When you're protected by this creative vibration and holding your best life, your life is quite literally gonna be magical. It's gonna be miraculous. And it's gonna be beyond your wildest dreams. I I can't tell you how good it's gonna be because quite honestly, you would never believe me. You would never believe that doing bodies of light would cause you to pop out of your body and that you're gonna be able to learn how to do astral travel, how to feel a restaurant's energy before you even go to it and know if the food is good or bad there. But even before that, you're gonna start feeling the food. When you do a lot of bodies of light, let's say you were gonna eat a a tuna sandwich that was rotten. If you put it near your mouth, you (coughs) you wouldn't even be able to swallow it because your energetic field is pushing away things that would hurt you. But then on the other side, when you do a lot of bodies of light, it attracts things that your body wants. 
So you're like, you're like walking through, maybe there's, a, maybe there's even a milk. Some people don't like milk, but maybe there was a chocolate milk and it just happened to be a happy cow. And it just happened to have good stuff in it. And you just walked by and said, mmm. And then you grabbed it and you felt amazing. See, all the rules go out the window when you do bodies of light and when you learn to start doing energetic testing of your foods. <clears throat> and this is gonna happen in other videos and other things. We call it the chi of food, the energy of food. And in this system, you can only test as high as you are, which means if you do bodies of light, you're not able to energetically test things. This is a, a basic ability that you have as a limitless being of light. You have an energetic charge in your field that has to be charged up. I want you to understand that in order, and, and I'm gonna stand up, I want you to understand that in order to walk the path into the light, you have to bring in light. There's a million, billion, trillion, limitless number of ways to bring in light. You can ohm, you can laugh, you can dance, you can sing, you can kiss someone, and that brings in light. You can raise your vibration. The thing that's a bit different about bodies of light is just it's fast. And we recommend that you do bodies of light with anything else, any other light working technique. So let's say that you do ohm meditation. We recommend doing bodies of light and then do your own meditation and see how much better it is, right? How much more powerful it is. Let's say you're doing money magnetism. Um, and that you're following, you know, holding the vibration. A lot of people, you know, they talk about being in the zone and holding the vibration of what you want. You gotta understand that you gotta, if you don't have that tingly energy in your body, if you're tired and holding a vision of something, it's not gonna come. When your energy is low, and you're gonna learn how to test your energy. You're gonna learn how to know how much energy is in your field. A lot of people have zero, one, two units of energy in their field, and 10 is neutral. So if your energy was only a zero, one, then it's 90% low in order to basically make your organs work. Now, if you've just done bodies of light, notice your organs are healing. A lot of you will have gotten, you know, after doing it one to three times, will have gotten up to a million or a billion. From a two to a million is 500,000 times more energy. So let's say at a minimum, are you willing to heal yourself 500,000 times faster? Whoa. Yes. Yes. Are you willing to attract your best life 500,000 times faster? Yes. This system is a system of bioenergetics. <clears throat> it's a system of learning how to feel the energy of everything around you. And it's gonna start by doing bodies of light. And it's gonna start by feeling things that make you stronger and feeling things that make you weaker. Very simply, just repeat after me, what's good for me? What's good for me? Makes me stronger. Makes me stronger. What's bad for me? What's bad for me? Makes me weaker. Makes me weaker. So if you are going into a smoky room and you feel ugh, weaker, is that a path into the light or the dark? The dark. Dark. If you go walking into the gym, it feels fresh and amazing and you feel energized. Is that a walk path in the light of the dark? Light. light. See, what's good for you makes you stronger. What's bad for you makes you weaker. You're gonna be learning more in the future about how to follow the path into the light, do things that make you stronger. You become like a light, a, a super light Jedi, like a light, amazing being of light. You become who you really are. She was saying, you're gonna regain abilities that you thought weren't even possible. Telepathy, going out of body, attracting your best life, feeling things on the other side of the planet, feeling relatives and things and flashing. Wait till you learn how to flash. Wait till you're plugged into the light and you ask, you know, where should I eat? And then you flash on the restaurant. How, how awesome is that? There's so much that you're gonna to have to look forward to. You're gonna learn how to test your foods, how to feel good all the time, how to uh, attract your best life, how to 
literally send energy in any direction and raise the vibration of those areas. We make them better. You understand it's, it's the light that evolves all things to higher and better form. Within the light is the intelligence. Even in the Bible, you know, they said God is light. There is no darkness in him. You understand that God may be the intelligence within the light. It's a very quantum viewpoint. And it's a, it's a viewpoint that may need to happen for us to evolve as a species. And when I say species, I mean just these physical bodies survive. Because what you are is not this species. What you are is a limitless being of light. And you'll go on better or worse. You've been looking for this. You in inherently know that within you there was more that there were times that you plugged into higher consciousness that you felt amazing and that you inherently knew that maybe I could feel this way more often. And you're kind of getting a glimpse of it now. My question is, with what you've learned, have you been ignited? Have you gotten excited enough have, you, have we sparked something within you that is going to make you want to do the 30-day challenge, to do Bodies of Light at least three times a day for 30 days, to sign up on bodiesoflight.net and to get the book and to become a part of your shift and your rehabilitation as a light being. Now, I'm going to tell you even some more stuff. I know people are still listening. It's like, I, I just keep going. I'm automatic talking. We're just talking here, you know? And you will too. <coughs> You'll find, biblically, they, they talk about people talking in tongues, but ultimately it's just automatic talking. When you plug into a lot of light, you'll find that you say words and things that you didn't even know because you're plugged into higher consciousness. You're plugged into a greater intelligence that's greater than this monkey mind, greater than this physical human existence, you understand that you're not just a physical human body. You are a limitless being of light that has more possibility, more creativity, more happiness, more bliss, more peace. And as you do bodies of light, you're going to unlock something so beautiful, so amazing that you're going to be shinier and more brilliant than you ever thought possible. I'm here, all I can do, I can't force anyone to do it. All I can do is cheer you on and show you the way and make it easy and uh, have you hopefully at some point join the League of Lightworkers International. And for those other people that have waited on this video who, who are blown away, maybe you've been doing Bodies of Light for the 30 days. Maybe you've done it for six months. Maybe you're a part of a TV network or a radio show or you're part of an investment group that says, you know, I think we should help them get a TV show, a Bodies of Light TV show out so millions, 10 million people can like walk this path into light. We also want to do a film and show in a theatrical release way the energy, how it works. Because it's very, it's very, it has a lot of special effects to it. Your abilities are just phenomenal. And uh, I really appreciate all of you for those of you who have lasted this long. And I want to encourage you to follow your own divine path into the light. And for you to understand that this is not following anyone else. This is you. And the fact is, because you're so brilliant, because you're so magnificent, as you open up your flows, as you open up more of you flowing through you in everything you be, do, and have, that your life becomes brilliant. And that, I'm gonna uncover another lie. If you think it's anyone outside of yourself, that is a lie because the inner light, the Essenes and ancient order out of Israel, they knew it. They considered it the morning star, their birthplace being Venus. And they knew that it was the inner light that was it. You know, I'm going to say a few more things. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you another thing. I'm going to tell you that, you know, they've talked about the Messiah. You know, the coming Messiah is going to save everyone. Um, I'm here to tell you something, and I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say what I think. I think that the Messiah is you. I think the Messiah is your inner light, 
And I think the Messiah is your ability to follow this path into higher consciousness that changes your life, that rehabilitates you as a spiritual being, as a light being, and evolves your, your, your health, your family, your community, the world at large, and could literally plug into higher consciousness to bring heaven on earth in a real way for all of us to enjoy. I know that was just wild. I just said something bizarrely wild. Some of you get it, some of you don't, and it doesn't matter either way. But just know that this is a holistic healing. This is, the light is the first piece of you learning all about the energy, being able to test your foods, being able to hear your, heal your organs, being able to regain your inherent abilities as a being of light, being able to feel amazing, happy, blissed out 24 seven. It's there, it's here, this is it, this is the path. You've been waiting, it's here, this is it. Go down, click, do it, start. Um, I think I've said everything I can. Um, and uh, I don't know, you guys, you, you think we're having fun here? Yeah. And so, we're excited. We're excited uh, that you're on this path and sign up below, get the book, get the audio book. Feel free to get in touch with me and I'll be your, your uh, um, uh, sponsor into the light. I'll help you do all the techniques and teach you one-on-one, -on -one. but you can start for free now, but know that I can work for you on an hourly basis, monthly basis, come to the uh, uh, Lightworkers International seminars, help us around the world. We have things in Israel and LA and New York and different places and New Jersey and people setting up these seminars to teach uh, their respective areas about these techniques and help us be a facilitator, get in touch with me, be a facilitator, investor. We're here, we need the help, we're doing our part and uh, that's basically all we can do and uh, what you can do is do the technique, follow the path in the light and enjoy the journey because I'm gonna say one last important thing, because happily ever after is a lie because the only thing you're ever gonna have is happily ever now. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so be happily ever now, pull in the light, and get ready to be on your greatest journey of many lifetimes into the light. Thank you. Yeah. Great.